Good morning. It's um, quite early in the morning, off to the British National Duathlon Champs, uh, Alton Park, which is home for me, Cheshire. But really nice to get home and a um, bit of a gnarly course actually. 10k run, 40k bike, 5k run, quite lumpy. Um, two big climbs in the course, so yeah, excited to watch that. And working for Lee today, so let's get stuck in. First things first, coffee. Starting off the day, starting the car, waiting for my boy Lee. He's just got out of bed. I, I'm quite early. He said, I'll be waking up at 8. So I was like, I'll be there at 8 just in case. So, um, yeah, the glamorous side of content creation. I've had some Brazil nuts and some crisps for breakfast. I was in the market for a bacon butty, but Greg's were being a bit, they've been a bit rude. So I was like, I'll just go get some crisps then. The weather looks lush. I don't know if you can see out there. Um, quite windy, but go catch up with Lee as he has breakfast and starts to get his get his heading gear and then we'll head over to head over to the racetrack so this campsite is probably five minutes from Alton Park if you have tapered this week I don't think I've ever really tapered for a, for a race but because it's so big obviously we've done a quite a big taper and that's been hard we even considered going back to work full time <laughs> at certain parts because of the um, because I've just been so bored and you don't realize how much it becomes part of your life the training you don't realize how much it fills my time up but then all of a sudden not to have the the, 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 the intensity and the, the length of time training you just a bit of a loose end. I've had a massage, I've been drinking lots of water, eating clean. Alan Murchison um, has told me not to eat any any vegetables or beans or anything sort of from sort of Wednesday, Thursday onwards just to make sure the, the gut's fine for the race. I think his, his comment was the beiger the better. So yes it's been pretty bland. I sort of played it over in my mind. I think they, they, I think it's hard but it's uh, Ulton Park because it is a tough course. Mm. One big hill and a, and a moderate hill but that big hill is quite a decent that, that takes it out of you so I'm not I'm, I'm still in that what do I do there because that you got you've got to do that nine times so and I think at last time I was at 400 500 watts for for I think 40 50 seconds burning my matches and then I wasn't in I didn't have, so do I go that hard again because I've trained for that I've been doing a lot of um, hard interval sessions which have been a minute long, you know, at 400, 500 watts. And me running at the moment is really sort of on point. I mean, I'm running with the best of them. So I think on the run, I might just, I might put the effort in and try to get it, to, uh, hopefully at the front of the race. Travelling over Saturday, so Saturday morning, camping over, got a campsite that's literally five minutes bike ride uh, away. So we're gonna stop over there, we've booked a pub for the evening and just try to get a, a a relatively early night sleep even though the race is at one o'clock I'll still get up at maybe eight o'clock still be at the course for 10 30 11 I think you can rack your bike at 11 so I want to be I definitely want to be there two hours two and a half hours before I want a decent warm-up that was one thing I noticed between the last two races the first race I had a really good long warm-up because we camped at the the site on the second race I didn't have as long a warm-up and I felt I felt it straight away as mm. soon as we started the run. You know, podium would be fantastic to, to, to see where I've come. I think I've always said that podium world, podium British champs, it, it would be would be fantastic at where I am right now. I really would be happy with the podium. I'd be ecstatic with the, with the first place because uh, that'd be unbelievable. But I think podium would be. I think I've I've looked through the start list like you do. Ten sort of decent guys that are towing the line. I know one guy is probably a standout c compared to the rest, but there's 10 other really good guys. Knowing me, something will happen. Something will go wrong. Done a bit of filming, arrived at the track. Um, Lee's up, all wrecked his bike, so we sort of filmed that. Asked him how he's feeling. The sun's come out a bit, which is nice, so that's improving the mood. And I've gone for a bacon bap and another coffee. Um, half an hour to race start so I'm just having a little wander to check out where I'm going to shoot from got double sling on the cameras 
um, 70 to 200 lens for photos and a 24 to 70 with a microphone for videos. So um, obviously they can both the cameras can shoot photo and video, but generally the on the 70 to 200 the footage is a bit too shaky to get any good good videos and uh, so yeah keep it that way around so yeah let's see what happens good um, the dogs made it interesting on the night trying to get the always comes every time you get up they sort of drive on you and all oh, over Lynn's head and you know they're trying to be best mates so, uh, so, yeah, so it's always interesting camping with the dogs very nervous trying to keep the mind off it it's just making sure that you've got everything when I get to the track I'll be fine in 10 minutes have a banana and that's it for that. No more food after this, so that's three hours. Every single bit we're off. Yeah, I've one good bit. My legs are just in uh, cramp. My calves, my quads. My legs have gone. Now I'm pushing 500 watts every time up that hill. Just not my normal self. I was struggling to make six minutes. For the mile and well, normally I'm in 550, 555. I've never had my quads cramp on both. I think my heart rate were, were right where the effort, so I knew I were like 177 most of the time. So I know my heart rate, so the effort was there. My legs have gone. But after sort of like three or four laps on the bike, my calves, I've never had my calves, so I don't know if it's soul or. But I've hydrated just like I normally do, so. I've had my initial thoughts and I still sort of, I'm disappointed the body wasn't quite there today. I felt uncomfortable on the first run, even though it was it was probably still decent. Um, and then the power wasn't there on the bike. And then the, the second run was, was agonizing. 
you know, my, my quads were hurting, um, cramping, the calves were cramping, I didn't feel comfortable at all, so whether that's just because I haven't done standard for six months, I don't know, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a bit disappointing. Yeah, I ended up fourth, which again, I suppose I probably was the oldest in my age group, so to actually finish fourth out, I think there was 15, or there were 15 people in when we looked at the results and moving up age groups now, and that's that for next year I'll be 55 to 59 age group. It was a tough day, quite a tough course. I got to speak to maybe Ian and really sort of figure out why I'm having these calf issues. I think that's that's my main thing at the moment, why I'm my, why my calves are cramping, that's the third race and third week on a trot that my calves have cramped. I, I don't know why, whether that's I need to take more salt, whether that's I'm, I'm putting too much effort in the bike, I don't know. Over the winter, that's one thing I've got to work on. Four weeks today, yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, we, we travel to Spain in a couple of weeks, so I'm going to have a bit of warm weather training, which will be nice. That's in the south of Spain, and then we're going to travel up to north, north Spain for the race. No expectations. I'm, I'm just really looking forward to the experience. I've never sort of represented GB before, it'll be great. Some positives out of today, uh, even though I felt absolutely shocked. Still finish fourth in the age group at British Championships. You've got you've got to accept that that's not bad after just two yeah. and a bit years in the sport. Well, we're done. What a day! Back in the car. My man, my man Lee finished fourth. Good for him. Um, he was like 30 seconds off the podium, a minute 45 off the off the winner of his age group, but. You know, he raced, he didn't have his best day, but I thought he raced really well and um, yeah, really excited for what's come from him. Cool race to be at, uh, Ben Goodfellow took the win, Al Doherty second, didn't, I missed who came in third. But um, yeah, that Alton Park course is pretty gnarly, um, it's been great, as you see, pretty windswept and the rain held off. Yeah, had a really good day, so thanks to everyone for being great and I get some photos out, maybe attach them to this video and hope you enjoy the race footage I took. So, next stop, Mallorca.